Hey guys, my name's Lindbergh, and we are in the great state of Texas on this awesome lakefront. Like, we're this is our lakefront property for today, and we're gonna have the most Texas thing ever Vietnamese hot pot. So, Vietnamese hot pot. This is what this is my mom's go-to dish whenever we knew there was a party that was that we're gonna have at our house. And one, she needed to feed a lot of people. It had to be cheap and had to be delicious. And this dish marks every single one of those marks. Uh, it it could you could have this dish as extravagant as you want or as simple as you want. We're gonna do somewhere right in the middle of that here at camp. Uh, we're in this beautiful spot in Texas, right by the lake. Um, and we just wanted to live a little, you know, enjoy life, enjoy our hot pot. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's super simple. It's really easy to get, you know, get started and we'll go from there. So one, one of the first main ingredients is, of course is stock. We're using chicken stock today. Um, normally it's made with pork broth that's made from scratch at home, but we're at camp so we could, you know, we could cheat a little bit. So uh, chicken stock, right? And then next is lemongrass, super important. And then galangal. This one I would say is optional. You don't really need this, but if you have access to it, you can get at, at, at a, um, an Asian grocery store. If you don't have access to it, then you could live without this. And then next ingredient is also optional. Uh, which is kefiri lime leaves. If you don't have access to these in your in your grocery store, normally it's at an ethnic store. You could get it at an Indian store. You could get it at an Asian store. It doesn't matter. Um, it's optional though. If you can't get it, you can also live without it because the next ingredient, which is this, this is the uh, tom yum soup base. And the reason why it's called lo thai in Vietnamese is because it's Thai inspired hot pot that Vietnamese people make um, and tom yum soup base is kind of the main things in it and the reason why I said the other two ingredients were optional is because it is in here but if you have the fresh ingredients it's gonna just make it taste way better um, and that's kind of the main base of the soups uh, of the soup uh, that op option the other option is the other part of this is we're gonna have our proteins and we're gonna have our vegetables and f today we're gonna have sliced beef I have a uh, shrimp here these fried fish balls. So this is very traditional. Uh, if you can't get these, you don't need it. You don't have to have it. It's just, if you grew up eating fish balls with hot pot, then you eat it, then you don't have. So you have fried fish balls and then you have this like other fish balls, just different colors. This makes it pretty. And then from there, you could always like, if you, if you wanted to make this a vegan option, you don't have to go with the chicken stock and you don't have to go with the beef or the, the other shrimp and fish and stuff like that. You can go with tofu and you can go with fried tofu and it's perfectly fine. Um, so vegetables. So the next main ingredient of vegetables is Napa, Napa cabbage. We're gonna use half of this. This is way too much for us. We use half of this and we're gonna have hot pot another day. See you here, we got Chinese broccoli and then we have mushroom options, which is, this is a uh, oyster mushroom or it is a very happy to see you mushroom. And um, these again are getting more popular at, at, uh, at normal grocery stores. If you can't get this, you can just get regular mushrooms. You don't need this one. This one's just really meaty flavor. Uh, like a meaty, when you bite into it, it's really meaty and it's really nice. And then we have these enoki mushrooms and then we have these other guys right here. So that's kind of our base here. And then um, finally we have, we're going with, we're gonna be eating with these wheat noodles today. You don't have to have fresh wheat noodles. If you have access to the fresh wheat noodles, go for it, especially at camp because it's, it only takes 10 seconds to cook these. Uh, the, traditionally, it's with dry rice noodles. And I also have this option here of uh, fresh pho noodles because again, it cooks really fast at camp. And also, if you're, if you're going for more veg vegetarian vegan option, these are the noodles you want because these are ve vegan. Uh, they're rice based, tapioca based, and it's great. Uh, so yeah, let's get started with the soup. We're gonna put chicken stock in here first and we're bringing it up to a boil.
Now again, if you wanted this as a vegetarian option, you don't have to go with chicken stock. Just get vegetable stock and you're fine. So that's that. And today's just gonna mean me and Carissa eating this, but this could feed four people if you really wanted it to. Um, if you have a bigger pot or multiple pots, you could feed as many people as you want. It's, this, the great thing about this is that it scales up really easily. Um, yeah. So next, I'm gonna smash these guys, uh, the lemongrass, and uh, go from there. And over here, I always keep like a trash can right next to my cutting board, so it clears my cutting board right immediately after I'm done with whatever I'm done with. Um, and then finally, we're gonna move over to the galangal. If you don't, like I said, if you don't have access to galangal, you could replace it with just regular ginger. It's not gonna quite have the flavor, a traditional flavor of this, but it's more than fine. So we're gonna do like about like six to eight slices of this. Mmm, that's great. And then we're gonna put some lime leaves in. So we'll put a bunch of these in. And what you wanna do with these is you just wanna tear up, just like that, and it'll release the flavor super easily. One, and we're gonna take these out. These are not, we're not gonna eat these. These will be eaten, these will be taken out after it kind of boils up for a couple minutes. And it's gonna be a little dirty. We'll put about, you know, like 10 of these guys in. Should be good with that. Mm, two more. There we go. So that's that. And uh, let that come to a boil. Let the flavors kind of meld and then we'll put in the soup base. Um, oh, I forgot to mention that we are going to put in this, uh, put in a tomato and we're going to put in a little bit of onion just to sweeten up the broth a little bit. Uh, and that's, it's, yeah, it's super simple. So we'll let this come up to a boil and we'll go from there. Here we go. This is the uh, Tom Yum soup base, and we do two giant tablespoons of this, just like that. Mix that up. So there is seasoning in here already, but we're gonna season it also on top of uh, of their, or their seasoning. So here we got fish sauce. And then I'm gonna put in some sugar and some chicken bouillon for some MSG oomph. And um, there's nothing bad about MSG, ever. It's just, yeah, you wanna eat MSG. There we go. There we go, so that was about two tablespoons of fish sauce. We're gonna flavor it and then we're gonna go from there. So I'm gonna do about two of these. That's two tablespoons of sugar. And then a couple shakes of this boy, chicken bouillon. Can you take these out of 
out of your way. Yes, please. So we have this awesome, awesome lakefront dining spot over here and Chris is just going to put all the stuff down over there and it's going to be great. So this is hot pot, this is how we enjoy it. All the stuff's out here. And you just put stuff in as you eat it. Let it get hot, let it cook as much as you want. You can have this as rare as you want, you can have it as well done as you want, whatever. This is all just do as you please and yeah, that's it. And so this is uh, this is low tide, Vietnamese hot pot. And um, give it a try and uh, yeah, let us know how it goes. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff, and uh, see you next time.